Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to set up an enterprise root certificate authority on Windows Server 2022. A certificate authority is an entity that stores, signs and issues digital certificates. A digital certificate certifies the ownership of a public key by the named subject of this certificate. Microsoft Certification Authority is based on public key infrastructure. The Active Directory Certificate Services role can be deployed on most Windows Server operating systems and provides the ability to act as an enterprise or stand-alone root CA. In this basic step-by-step -step guide, we will install the Active Directory Certificate Services role and configure it. Let's understand the test lab we will be using in this video. We have single domain Active Directory Forest name msfdwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. Let's go to our member server VM. This VM is our Windows Server 2022 member server that has been joined to our Active Directory domain. On this member server, we want to set up our own certificate authority using Active Directory Certificate Services. This will allow us to implement public key infrastructure in our organization. The first thing we need to do is install the Active Directory Certificate Services role on our server. We can use Server Manager or Windows PowerShell to do so. In this video, we will use Server Manager. Open Server Manager, click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. Click Next on Before You Begin page. Select Role Base and Feature Base Installation and click Next. Select the local server and click Next. In the Server Role selection, take the Active Directory Certificate Services and wait for the pop-up for the additional features that are required for ADDS. Once this pops up, click Add Features. This will add all the necessary roles and features so we won't have to configure anything else separately. We should now have a tick against Active Directory Certificate Services. Click Next to continue. At the Features window, click Next as we are not installing any additional features. Take note of the task that cannot be performed after the CA role is installed by reading the short role description. After installing ADCS role, you can't change the computer name, join to domain or promote this server to a domain controller. Let's click Next to continue. Certification Authority Role Service is already selected. Certification Authority is the primary certificate engine that needs to be installed in order for the server to officially become a CA. At the moment, we will go with only Certification Authority service. Later on, we can install other ADCA services as per requirement. Click Next to go to the next page. Click Install to begin the installation of the ADCS rule. It's important to remember that the Certification Authority service doesn't require restarting after installation. This will take a few seconds to install the selected role service or services. I'm going to click on Close. The installation is completed successfully. We can see the yellow notification on Server Manager. Click on yellow notification icon. And here it is asking us to configure Active Directory Certificate Services on this server. So upon completion of the installation, we need to click on the Configure Active Directory Certificate Services link. This will open ADCS Configuration Wizard. We have to specify credentials to configure ADCS Rule Services. We have logged into this member server with our Domain Administrator account so we have sufficient permission to perform this task. Domain Administrator is also a member of the Enterprise Admins group. If required, click on Change to provide the other user account credentials. Here, I'm going to click Next. Under Role Services, select Certification Authority. Other options are grey out because they haven't been installed on this server. Click Next. 
Choose the Enterprise CA Certification Authority type and click Next. For CA type, select Root CA and click Next. Select Create a new private key under Private Key if you haven't installed the CA Server role previously. If you installed the CA Server previously, please select Use Existing Private Key option. In this case, make sure Create a new private key option is selected and click Next. Since we are in a test environment, we will go with the default settings for the cryptographic provider and the hash algorithm. The default key length is 2048. You can select a cryptographic provider setting and key length as per your requirement. Let me click next to continue. On the CA name page, we can either keep the suggested common name or specify a name to identify this CA. Keep in mind that you cannot change the CA name after installing ADCS. I have given name MSFT ERCA. Click Next to continue. Specify the CA certificate default validity period. This is set to 5 years by default. This can be changed if required. Let's make it 10. Once set, click Next. Specify the folder location for the certificate database and the certificate database log. Leave the default location of storing the database files and logs. Click Next. Review the configuration and click Configure to apply our selections. Once configuration has successfully completed, click Close. The Active Directory Certificate services have been successfully installed and configured on our Windows Server 2022. Now, we can start requesting and issuing the certificates from this Enterprise Root Certification Authority using a domain account. Let's open Certificate Authority Console. On the Server Manager dashboard, click on Tools and then select Certification Authority. And here, we can see a newly configured CA. Right-click CA name and select Properties. You will see Certificate 0 in the list which is the public certificate for the CA itself. Click View Certificate. You will see the summary page for the certificate that indicates the validity period. It is 10 years in our case. This certificate authority must be trusted by our devices in order for certificates issued by it to be trusted. We will need to install the public certificate of the CA into the Trusted Certification Authority store on each device. That we will see in the upcoming videos. That's all for this video on how to install and configure Active Directory Certificate Services on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.